ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದಿ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೂಜಯೋ ಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವ ನಮಭೀಷ್ಟದೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚಿನು ತರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತುಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಪೋದೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸ ಸಾಗರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಶಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾಕರು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸ್ಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸ್ಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುರೂಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪಂ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಗುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಶ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ್ವ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಮ್ಮಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
निखिल भुवन माया छिन्न विच्छिन्न करति विभूद बहुलो मृग्या मुक्ति महंत दात्री शिथिल तो विधिराग राध्यो राधे शधानी बिलसतू हृद नित्यम भक्ति सिद्धांत बानी निखिल भुवन माया छिन्न विच्छिन्न करति विभूद बहुल मेज्ञा मुक्ति महांत दात्री शिथिल तो विधिरागा राध्य राधे शधानी बिलसतु हृदय नित्यम भक्ति सिद्धांत वाणी बिलसतु हृदय नित्यम भक्ति सिद्धांत वाणी गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभा टोल दैट the unique idealism of bhajan that the unique idealism of bhajan of an acharya is his real identity gauriya goshtipati sri sila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami chakur prabhupad used to speak that the unique idealism of bhajan of an acharya is his real identity of his aprakita baba okay श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी यूनिक आचार्यशिप हिज यूनिक आचार्यशिप वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑलवेज शिल ऑलवेज शिल प्रभुपाद यूज टू यूटिलाइज एवरी फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड इन हरि भजन दैट इज एक्चुअली दैट इज द टेक्निक ऑफ हरि भजन दैट इज द सीक्रेट टेक्निक ऑफ हरि भजन हाउ टू यूटिलाइज एवरी फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड in hari bhajan how to relate all objects everything how to relate everything anything in front of you how to relate everything with krishna with relation to krishna that is actually the secrecy of bhajan so Always, Sri La Prabhupad used to utilize the fact every fraction of second in Hari Bhajan, and also you know Rupa Goswami Pad in his final advice speaking of Kalam Kalam Nayad Akhilam Iti Upadesh Saram. I am not speaking the whole slok. Only I am speaking this line: Kalam Akhilam Nayad Iti Upadesh Saram. How to utilize every fraction of second in Hari Bhajan? how to relate everything with hari bhajan with with a seva of hari is called actual technique so actually also sila prabhupad used to engage each and everybody in hari bhajan it was a special technique of sila prabhupad special capacity that prabhupad technique prabhupad every time always He he used to engage devotees in continuous seva, uninterrupted seva, non-stop seva. It's a special technique. Actually, uh, when I am speaking about uh, one incident happened in Assam, I think. Sila Bhakti Yudhi Madhav Goswami Mahar that time, Hoyger Brahmachari, Pobad was there for for the installation of deity there. maybe that time this happened so night time when prabhupa doing hari naam and moving here and there inside room then high good brahmachari you know playing hand fan to prabhupa for the but actually all god brothers actually requesting high good brahmachari speaking to him that prabhupad love him very much love you very much so you will have to take one permission from prabhupad what permission actually we don't know when to do we cannot find any time to complete our 1 lakh hari naam but prabhupad speaking you will have to do 1 lakh hari naam is a standing instruction of chaitanya mahaprabhu without chanting 1 lakh hari naam nobody can offer anything to you know deity is impossible ma po saying i am going to take water and uh, and water in the hands of lakshapati <laughs> who is having uh, 
uh, that kind of property who is doing one lakh hari now so it is a standing instruction of chaitanya mahaprabhu so actually all god brothers requesting higher brahmachari to ask this question in front of popa that uh, we can get some you know permission to do less hari nam is quite impossible for us then higher brahmachari while doing fanning propa uh, do the doing the seva and uh, moving here and there of popa and sometime asking popa we have one question it was really impossible to speak in front of popa so heavy personality i have heard from gurudev baba it was quite impossible to speak in front of popa so heavy personality nobody can speak without any you know reason proper reason now hi kid brahmachari asking Prabhupada, we have one question with humble attitude. Hi, Guru Brahmacharya, asking Prabhupada, whole day we are trying to do some seva as you are speaking, but we cannot make up our time to complete one lakh hari now. What to do? When to do? Prabhupada was very harsh. After some time, Prabhupada was speaking. Why? Night time, what you are doing? I mean, Prabhupada want to engage us. all in continuous seva continuous seva we cannot retreat from seva in the in the history of gauriya bhajan there is no question of retirement from seva whatever age he may be my guru ma jab singh nine uh, actually 100 years over but still doing seva continuously non stop seva even in sleep also i have seen so this is seva So Bhagavad always want to engage us in different kind of seva all the time. Not only that, but also, but also when some devotee already giving some seva, he gone somewhere to complete the seva. And when coming back in front of Bhagavad praying Dandavat, oh, you complete that seva? Yes. What seva you have at present in your hand? Baba, at present I complete whatever seva you give. Okay, then you get ready and now go for the seva. Continuously, non-stop seva. And those who are doing seva, they are also getting enthusiastic energy. That is actually the secrecy of Guru Shishya relation. If Guru Devi Shad Guru and powerful can give you enough power to carry on your seva. there is no shortage of energy you cannot feel you never feel and she is a disciple always feeling enthusiastic energy all the time to carry out the the order of his guru dev popa never in his life never wanted to seek the interest of any disciple popa in his whole life never wanted to seek the interest of any disciple popa always wanted to seek the interest of guru goranga gandharvika always all the time gauri papa never wanted to seek the interest of any disciple actually that is the secrecy of his acharya ship his personality unique acharya ship sila papa never allowed any separate desire with anybody it was his unique character he could realize very easily what is there inside the heart of one any devotee sila popa never allowed any separate desire with anybody sila popa used to say that you have come here in gorium mission or goriamot you have this kind of efficiency yogata you, you have some efficiency to do some seva whatever quality you have whatever quality you have whatever power you have instant you will have to you know have to get engaged in seva that was the unique you know character of popat anyone coming to gorya mission join coming to join gorya mission gorya mat with any quality any quality maybe uh, maybe have some special quality of cultivation the horticulture maybe 
some special quality of you know writing or have some special quality of preaching bhiksha anything have some a special purity to maintain you know body and mental purity uh, there that's why with any quality with any quality anybody coming in front of prabha it was the usual procedure of prabha to engage him in seva instant then and there because prabha used to say that who knows when we are going to leave this material world there is no surety so so it is good that we will have to get engaged in seva instant not even a fraction of second we can sit uh, sit uh, sit without any reason doing next to nothing we cannot sit huh? ideal life ideal brain is a workshop of devil so popa never wanted to and it was a system popa always uh, always used to used to arrange devotees to stay together some special cases different some special sanyasi is different but all other devotees they used to stay in one hall so if 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 they are going to stay separately one one separate room then if they are going to maintain their person you know own own privacy then it is big problem if at all any any devotee new comer feeling some karma inside if at all he is going to stay with all different devotees and maybe 20 devotees in a hall in that case uh with the association of these devotees he can not he can you know he can feel comfortable that's why it was the system popa used to allow them to stay in one hall not separate room for each and everybody not that so this way it was a system of popa uh, so popa never allowed any separate desire with anybody anyone coming with any special quality any quality then and there he used to engage him in guru goranga gandharvika seva in chant uh, because who can say when who can say when i'm going to die no surety of life so uh, so any quality you have that should be immediately utilized in guru goranga seva that was the order instruction of sila bhopa because life is most unstable you know very unstable any time we can go away so if anybody if anybody going to express some anavilas separate desire or anything if anybody with anav you know with some anavilas want to uh, want to learn english uh, to get some importance in <laughs> devotional field so say po they are sometime asking to po po bat i like to learn sanskrit if you could pa no no you cannot waste your time learning sanskrit so you must engage and give yourself in seva and some more is speaking po ba we like to learn english it is very good po ba say no he cannot he have we have no time continuously you have to do seva through seva you have to get siddhi actually it is also the advice of rupa goswami path from scriptural evidence we have rupa goswami was speaking in rashamidu sindhu bahu grantho kala abhyas is totally prohibited bahu grantho kala abhyas mean somebody has some special quality he can memorize shastra he like to read but you will have to obey prabhupad not that you like to read so you can sit doing next to nothing you can only read books and memorize and speak dry philosophy in front of public to cheat popat cannot allow so rupa goswami was speaking in rasamrita sindhu bahu grantho bahu grantho kala abhyas is totally prohibited bahu grantho mean i like to read different kind of books to to collect knowledge to gather knowledge to uh, to acquire knowledge there is also one kind of anavilas because if you are actually interested to read and write you know in that case it is also 
one kind of bondage in gita you, you can go through gita satya ban mane satya bandha when you are going to lead your life peacefully you are interested to read books this that this is also one kind of bondage for you and but it is one kind of bondage of sataguna so rajo tamo tamo rajo satagun any kind of qualities that you are and uh, no, going to get in this life according to is actually admixture not that you are going to get satagun fully always any any people any people any people is if you if you analytically think you can find maybe somebody is having satagun predominating factor maybe somebody having rajagun predominating factor maybe somebody having tamagun predominating factor but not that only tamagun is there only rajagun is there not that only satagun is there it's not possible because in this material world any quality you are going to get according to a previous sanskar is or is one kind of admixture maybe uh, rajagun is you know predominating but some satagun is also there and tamagun is also there so according to the admixture so what quality is there in you it depends so actually not that you like to lead your life very peacefully without any problem you don't like to fight with anybody you like to read books and collect knowledge you know gather knowledge is also one kind of you know bondage for you not that you like to read so you are very no that knowledge is not actually knowledge knowledge that you are going to get scientific knowledge from gurudev and if we can digest it that knowledge through seva that is called actually knowledge gyanam paramam gujjam me jat vigyana samannitam you you know this shloka e chatushloki bhagavat so gyanam paramam gujjam me jat vigyana samannitam sarahasam tadangam cha gyan guditam maya so by the mercy of gurudev all knowledge can i can digest through seva if i am if i am not educated maybe i am illiterate still at least i can get the total theme of that knowledge the gist that i can get the exact thing uh, of that knowledge what is extract of that knowledge i can get uh, you know tremendous you know power to do seva carry out seva this kind of you know so nobody can go out of this raja tamaguna sat raja tamaguna nobody can go first our first duty popad used to say it is our first duty it was it is our first duty to take ourselves out of this out of the influence of maya first raja tamatama raja tam satguna three modes of nature always going to uh, put some influence with in us so we will have first we'll have to cut the influence and that is why popad used to engage them in seva and through seva when they are hearing hari katha when they are doing kirtan if they are doing exact seva by the mercy of gurudev by the order of gurudev very shortly they can discover all their maya gone very shortly they can dis- they can discover that maya gone now they are feeling comfortable green signal they are getting so day by day they can proceed and can come out successful in their bhajan so rajas tamas cha satye na satyam cha upasame na cha etat sarvam guru bhakta purusho hi anjo sajayet is the document from simad bhagavatam bhagwan sri krishna speaking to uddhav ji maharaj rajastamascha you satyena will have to defeat rajatama by by predominating sat factor you will have to increase satagun it's good at present so you will have to increase at least satagun so by satagun you will have to defeat rajastamascha satyena uh, rajastama rajo evam tamagun you will have to defeat by satagun and also you will have to defeat satagun by shuddha sat pure sat rajastama satyena satyanj upasamena upasamein cha upasam upasam mean we are def- doing upasam mean upasam actually this word mean is sanskrit word it mean relief relief we are trying to get relief upasam 
Upasam means we are doing different kind of seva activities like uh, Guru Seva, we are hearing Katha, uh, following Ekadashi and different kind of, you know, Brata is also Upasam, through which we are gradually going to get control over our sense organ and mind. And be sure, through Sadguru Seva, through Sadguru Seva, 100%, through Sadguru Seva, 100%, you can get control over your uh, sat over Satarajatamaguna also, totally. And you can uh, you can go out of the influence of this nature, Rajaguna Tamaguna. So, uh, so it was the usual uh, uh, usual instruction of Sri Pahupa. Anybody coming with any quality at present, they should get engaged in Seva. Because uh, as per Rupa Bahu Gontho, Bahu Gontho, Bakala Abhyas Nishet. I like to read so many books, scientific books, this, that, or philosophical books, maybe. I like to read so many. I like to, uh, you know, uh, I like to practice some different kind of kala, I mean, art. Art, different kind of like dancing, singing, you know, art, different kind of arts and culture I like to practice. But Rupa Goswami was speaking. If you are going to follow your Sadguru, if you are in, at all interested to do Guru Seva, actual Sadguru Seva through which you are going to get entry into Hari Bhajan, for them it is strictly prohibited to practice different kind of art or uh, it is totally prohibited to go through different kind of books without any reason. Rupa Goswami Path giving strict instruction without any proper devotional books which is related to your sampradaya. Because if you are newcomer, if you are going to the bookshop, you know, maybe Ramanuja Chajya, you can get confusion. If you go through Sankara Chajya philosophy, you can get in confusion. Big problem. Follow. It's big problem. So, it is the usual rules that whenever we are coming here uh, in front of Sadguru, Sadguru can Engage us in seva accordingly. I'll have to do so. Guru Mukha Padma Bhakya Hidayate Kariya Aikya Arana Kariha Mone Asa. Any kind of separate disease, a disease, uh, separate desire should not be there inside of heart. So, no separate desire is allowed all the time. You will have to do kirtan. Maybe you are doing some horticulture seva, maybe you are doing some cultivation seva, but still, Jibhagoshini was speaking. Any kind of seva we are going to do, any kind, maybe cooking, maybe we are doing to, doing any other seva, but all seva should be done, done with the help of kirtan. With the help of sankirtan naiva, sankirtane naiva kriyeta. Any seva, jaddabi anna seva, jaddabi. And at all, if you need to do any other seva, like you are going to for viksha, begging, you know, alarm, it's going here and there by the order of Papa. Still, you will have to do japa. All the time, you cannot, maybe not in mala, but continuously you can go on speaking Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Ram non stop. So, when you are cooking, maybe you are not speaking, but inside mind, you can go on speaking. Speaking Harina, because if you speak some you, uh, some of uh, some from from your mouth, some uh, you know some particle can go in the cooking. So you should not speak. You know the system in Jagannath Puri, the Panda. Uh, before they enter into kitchen, they all tie that they put one mux with gamcha. We are using this mux as present. Uh, prescribed by doctors, but they are all along in using this gamcha as a, you know, gamcha they are using as, you know, max all the time. So, they are not, they are not at all interested to take the smell of what is there when cooking. It is also dangerous because if I am going to smell Paramanna cooking, very nice smell, I can take Paramanna, then Jagannath not going to take. So, any smell coming to my nose is very, is one kind of bhojan. I am already eating, but it's fine eating. Fine. So, ghranam, ghranam, ardha bhojanam. Ghran means if I am going to get smell, it is one kind of bhojan. Bhojan means eating. So, it's also prohibited. 
Jagannath cannot take. So be careful whenever we are going for going to do any seva. But all the time it is the order of Sela Prabhupada to go on doing Harinam. Non-stop Harinam. Don't stop. We even we have seen in, in the life of Guru Maharaj that even Guru Maharaj sleeping night time when I watching Guru Maharaj, Guru Maharaj doing Harinam. How? It's, it seems Guru Maharaj sleeping, but a tongue always dancing. Always, I have seen. It's really surprising. All the time, the tongue of Guru Maharaj dancing, those he is sleeping externally. So all the time he is habituated. So to do Harinam all the time. So this is the system. So Bhopad, according to the order of Rupa Goswami never wanted to allow anybody to go to learn English, Sanskrit, this, that. Or if anybody interested to learn some art and culture, special. Ah, oh, he can say, Maharaj, I can use it for Gorangs and Popas and Popat can know everything. No, not at all. You can do your seva, this seva. But at the same time, you cannot understand the unique Acharya Siva Popat. The same Prabhupad, same Prabhupad, same Prabhupad, he is going to arrange some special teacher. Same Prabhupad going to arrange a special teacher for a group of devotees to give them knowledge about, you know, Vedanta or Nashuda. I heard from Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj say, Prabhupada arrange one special teacher for us. We in a group of uh, four or five, maybe special group. For them, Prabhupada uh, arranged uh, one special teacher who used to give the special training on Naishudha. Naishudha is at present, I like to get this book. Guru Maharaj very often used to speak about this book. She is Paramahaja Siddhar Goswami Maharaj also. But I cannot find this book, Naishudha. Guru Maharaj used to joke with me and speak, Shudhava Paloniya. Shudhava, shud, uh, ki? I forget this sloka. Uh, Shudhava Patonia, uh, um, I forget this sloka. Uh, the meaning is the, of this sloka is that if you are going to, if you are going to learn Nay Shudha, then you can, you can, you can govern the whole world. Uh, Shudhava, um, I forget Guru Maharaj used to speak this sloka. Pithivi uh, Bap Dharani Bap Palonia, Shudha Bap Patonia, Prithivi Bap Palonia. This this kind of slok Guru Maharaj used to say. So uh, Prabhupada used to engage one special teacher for a group of devotees, very small, four five maybe, to give them special teachings on Nay Shudha. It is a books, a special books by Madhvacharya. Very good book. Nay so sweet. Each and every step you can get, you know, big, you know, knowledge. All, every step you can get. So, also Ramanujajyo giving so much uh, nice instructions. Uh, we devotees, maybe we are from Gauriya devotees, but still, it is open to all. Those who are going to do Hari Bhajan, they can apply it. Like one or two examples I can give. The instruction of Ramanujajyo, one or two examples to, for your, for your, you know, Easy understanding. Actually, Ramana Jaja used to speak. If any deity or any Shivlinga not installed by any pure devotees, you need not pay Dandavat to him. Dandavat. If any deity, inst any deity, not any deity, maybe Radha Krishna or Ram, Dakshman, maybe, or Shivlinga, if not uh, installed by any pure devotees, then you cannot serve. Nitya Seva is not this, this, this uh, Nitya Seva, this word is not applicable here. Also, Ramanujaji used to speak, if there is uh, Nitya Seva Vigraha, if some deity is in, installed by one very nice, high class, very elevated devotee, used to, uh, for the past uh, maybe 200 years, 300 years, uh, Parampara, this Seva going on. So if, uh, if there is a disturbance at present, I mean after the Acharya gone and three, two, two Parampara gone, now, now nobody interested to do Seva properly. 
and not only that but also there you can find some babichar babichar mo all illegal activities going on illegal activities i cannot speak in front of you what is going on in inside temple i should not speak openly that type of things are going on ramanuja is speaking if this kind of babichar attachar you know excesses inside babichar different kind of you know problem going on inside seva is not at all perfect what to seva speak about perfect seva nothing going on i can show itself in mayapur i don't like to name i don't like to name some sanyasi maintaining one temple sa some to sanyasi in church he is not worshiping deity daily if somebody putting to today you are not doing or uh, it is not necessary that daily i we can but they are we are going to you know pay dandavat to them as gauriya sanyasis this kind of idiot you see i cannot name if you personally approach me i can speak you this kind of problem happening who can speak what uh, so this kind of problem happening so they think uh, not it is not necessary to worship it i can show you in any mot you know here in my pro also the brahmachari sanyasi they don't think it necessary to do gayatri japa daily they don't think it is they don't think it necessary to do three time what to speak about three time job i uh, what to speak about three time job i am not speaking about three time they have no time to chant gayatri in a whole day this kind of seva they are doing so shuti siti puran adi pancharatim vidhim bina oi kanti ke hare bhakti utpatai bakal but it is one kind of utpat utpat mean disturbance disturbance only nothing not seva they should be driven away from gauriya math then we can make uh, make some environment which is pure environment they should be driven away in bengali from childhood we are hearing one word dushto goru theke shunno gwal bhalo if there is a no very wicked gom gom am a cow is always kicking and fighting uh, then we uh, we hear from our you know grandfather these that they are speaking दुष्ट गुरुर थे शून्य गोल भलो इफ उई आर गोईंग टू मेनटेन वन भेरि उट काउ अलवेज गोईंग टू यू नो मेक प्रब्लेम किंग एंड यू नो फाइटिंग उद हर्न बिग प्रब्लेम इन दैट केस आई हार्ट इट इज गुड दैट देर शुड नट बी एनी काउ एट लिस्ट दैट गौशाला शुड बी बैक एंड एट लिस सो इफ आई कैन एन एनी टाइम इफ आई कैन गेट वन नाइस यू नो काउ आई कैन टेक केयर इज गुड now somebody going to give argument maharaj if you are going to give, uh, do this kind of this kind of argument then you can find all back end nobody can stay i say who who told you who told you nobody can stay who call, who told you jagannath is powerful jagannath is not blind our gurudev is not cheater so if gurudev is sadguru and you know he is doing bhajan then it is the it is the power of gurudev to bring actual devotees they can bring not that if you they allow you know i can speak some incident regarding that uh, i am not speaking you should you should uh, throw everybody outside and this minimum tolerance should be there but not that they are doing all rabis in the name of hari bhajan in the name of they you can allow them because those who are good devotees by this bad bad association they can grow bad habit very shortly so for newcomers those who are coming new uh, for new devotees at all you need to give them allow them new nice environment because they are not you know they are not powerful they are very weak for komal shraddha it is called in bengali and sanskrit we say Komal Shraddha, those who are having soft, you know, belief. So, for them, you will have to arrange one such nice environment in which they can grow their faith. Otherwise, if you are uh, first hand, if they are going to a join mod and they find some idiot people staying there doing all rubbish, then gradually they can also grow bad habit. I am not speaking that you will have to throw everybody. those who are mayavadi totally mayavadi faith is less or you know more 
is different thing. So if anybody, you know, uh, if anybody would request Pohupad, will I like to learn Sanskrit? This about no, no. Whereas this Pohupad used to engage some special teacher to give some special training uh, on Vedanta or Nayashudha, Guru Padmi used to speak. So now you can you can grow some you can grow some you know doubts why Prabhupada is you know on neutral platform Prabhupada is going to allow this group three or four people where is not going to allow me you can grow this kind of doubts so in that case you are going to grow problem you cannot do bhajan so any instruction Prabhupada giving you will have to carry out without any doubt without any fighting you will have to do. there is a special acharya ship unique acharya ship of sela popat why popat not allowing me why popat going to allow pranamananda prabhu and those devotees that is his decision i have no i have no right to fight with on this issue so so you see I am speaking. I am speaking about one in, another incident. So, due to some anyavilas, uh, some devotees, they used to take some undue advantage of fooding and lodging from Gauriya Mission without doing any proper seva. They are coming to join Gauriya Mission, Gauriya Ma, but uh, with some anyavilas. Uh, anyavilas can be there. But on Navilas we can we can we can cut on Navilas. Gradually, if we are going to follow Gurudev, Sadguru and Vaishnav, if you go on hearing Sravan Kirtan, because in Gauriam in Gauriam especially, Sravan Kirtan is so powerful, so powerful, so powerful that the Sravan Kirtan and also in Navida Bhakti, Sravanam Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, you know everything. So, Sovan Kirtan is a vital point in Gauriya mission, Gauriya Mat. That is the arrangement of Prabhupada. Because Prabhupada used, Prabhupada used to take the help of this procedure, Sovan Kirtan. So, all the time they should do some seva and at the same everybody should attend Harikatha. Through Harikatha, if they cannot understand, after Harikatha is over, they can put question or they can uh, through Ishtagasti. At present, as present, this procedure is totally, you know, vanish. That is uh, Ishtagasti. Ishtagasti means some elevated devotees, maybe they understand something. I am newcomer. I must put question. Uh, when my seva is over, I have some half an hour time with me. In that case, you cannot sit or can, you cannot sleep without any reason. So we will have to put some question in front of some devotees and he can go on discussing some point with you, whatever you already, you know, you know, whatever you are hearing uh, in Harikatha. If you don't understand, you will have to put this kind of question. So this way, this was the system that you will have to follow, Istagosti system. So now some devotees, so-called devotees, Due to their annavilas, some devotees, they used to take some undue advantage of fooding and lodging from Gauriya Mission or Gauriya Mat without doing any proper seva. In that case, one such devotee took decision to go to home to collect more educational qualification. Uh, actually, this way, in Gauri mission, some devotees they are coming to uh, they are they are inter interested to take the advantage of fooding and lodging, but they like to take educational qualification from outside. They are doing some time bound seva, maybe two hours they are doing this seva. After that, they are reading books and going to college to collect uh, material education this way. So this way, uh, actually, Prabhupada sometime for some special reason allow one or two or not at all Prabhupada is going to allow anybody eh? sometime uh, some special case for some special case one but this is not actually personality so one day uh, due to some annavila some some devotees they used to take undue advantage of fooding and lodging 
from Gauri mission without any without doing any proper seva. One such devotee, he, he one such de, one such devotee, he took decision to one such devotee, one such devotee, uh, one such devotee, he took decision to go to home to collect uh, more educational qualification to become an imp important personality in the society. Because at present he is, uh, he is not going to get any honor from this uh, in society. So he took decision to go to home uh, to collect, uh, to gather more uh, educational qualification, more educational qualification to collect and to become an important personality in the society. And some senior devotees started uh, giving some appropriate spiritual treatment to him. Prabhu, why you are going away? Eh? No, I like to. What you can do? Life is very short. Anytime you can die. And in whole life, infinity period, there is one doubt that we can get such 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 exalted acharya, unique acharya like Sela Popat. He is the personal associated go 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 Ranga Mahaprabhu. Why you are taking trouble to go away from? No, I can go away. So this way, all different kind of you know consolation, all different kind of you know one by one you know siddhanta was established in front of him by some senior devotees, but all in vain or useless. So, but anyway, he was not at all ready to stay at Gauri Mission. He, he took decision, surely I'm going back to home. Because he, uh, he thought that nothing to, he, he, because he thought that nothing to learn in Gauri Mat. Where is there? Nothing to learn in Gauri Mat. Useless, I can waste my life here. Then, actually, when Srila Prabhupada heard this argument going on, I mean, there's devotee uh, going to leave Gauri Mission and the senior devotee out of his compassion going to give some argument that please you stay in Gauriyam, Gauriyamath, you can take great advantage, spiritual advantage. Then when all argument useless, is not going to hear anything, then Prabhupada's speaking that why you are taking time, Prabhupada speaking to the senior devotees, devotee who is giving some, you know, argument to him, to stop him going from Gauriya mission, Prabhupada speaking, why you are going to waste your time? Prabhupada speaking to the senior devotee, why you are going to waste your time to make him understand this vital point about his, huh? why you are going to, going to waste your time to make him understand about his dark future. So let him go. Why you are going to waste your time? Do your own seva. There is nothing to learn in Gauriyamat, Gauriya mission. So let him go. So this way Prabhupada used to, you know, this way Prabhupada used to uh, speak. Uh, also we know actually, uh, actually, uh, Prabhupada actually, Without seva, if somebody is going to waste his time, Bhopat cannot tolerate. Never tolerate. So any seva, suppose Sila Hayagri Brahmachari completing this seva, now coming back, then after that Prabhupada asking, what seva you have at present, Prabhu? You know, at present I have, I have completed all seva. So you will have to go and do this seva. This way, Prabhupada, it, is, it was a technique, Prabhupada. Never Prabhupada, Allow any sannyasis, brahmacharya to stay there in Chaitanya Mahatma day and night doing next to nothing. No, all the time. So I can give one or two examples how merciful Sri Prabhupada is. Because sometimes you can misunderstand. Prabhupada is merciless. Why Prabhupada speaking this way? Prabhupada thinking that way? You can think. Now I can give one argument, uh, one you know, incident I can speak so that you can understand how much merciful Sri Prabhupada is. How much soft his heart is, more than butter, you know. So, one day, one very rich, influential man, 
He used to come to Goriamon, he used to do some seva there also. Now, one day, one very influential rich man, influential in the sense that he used to have money and some social status, you know, uh, that, that, that's why I am speaking that way. So one day, one influential rich man wanted to get control over some unusual happenings at Gauriya Mission at Calcutta. What is that? Knowingly or unknowingly, one or two devotees, uh, brahmacharis, were involved in, in this small incident. Not purposely actually, maybe purposely, but not, not so not so important, have done some mistake and that uh, mm, not so big issue but still the rich man requested Srila Prabhupada uh, to drive away from Mat. He requesting Srila Prabhupada, please Prabhupada you please, they are doing this way, this kind of rubbish activity, so you can, you can throw them out of Mat. He is requesting because he is, you know, uh, Srila Prabhupada now going to hear him what he is speaking. Uh, he is speaking, you must please, you know, you must throw them away. You must, you know, throw them away from Goyamat. But Srila Prabhupada, but, uh, but Srila mm, you know, uh, Prabhupada was thinking just opposite way. What is that? Uh, Prabhupada put in question that you want to put them out of Gauriya Mart. You want to put them out of Gauriya Mart, but that is not actually solution. That is not actually solution. If I put them out of Gauriya Mart, what solution you can get? What solution those devotees can get? So, I have one question. Where to send those patients if, if their condition is very bad, where to send? If you, in front of you, if you find one big, big patient, where to send? The man replied that, why? In hospital is the proper place for him, for them. Then Prabhupada <coughs> told him the same thing. Come on, I want to speak the same thing. So, I like to advise you uh, same thing. They are actually, uh, you know, they are actually Baba Rogi. Baba Rogi are materially affected person. Baba Rog. They are actually, they are actually Baba Rogi. They are actually patient. So, materially affected person there. So, this Gauri hospital is just a suitable place for them. So, why you want to throw them out? Treatment going on. Through Harikatha, Kirtan, this, that, they are taking prasadam, charanam, ito. And the case is not so, you know, heavy, so that we cannot um, forgive them. They can get uh, both, they can get both medicine, charanam, ito, Harikatha, Kirtan, etc. They can get both medicine and treatment from, uh, from those big, big spiritual doctors. Those who are there in Gauriya Mission, Gauriya Math. So why you would like to throw them out of Gauriya Math? Actually, the actually patients should not be thrown out of Math. They are actually Baba Rugi. Then the man started argument with Sila Popa. The why the why not? Then why not you go outside and call all you know in you know countless you know people there in the society. You can call them all in Gauriya Math and start treatment. Papa speaking, look, this is one kind of argument you are putting, but I am interested because in Kirtan also it is there. Brahmando tarite dhok shakti dhare jane jane. Whole Brahmando, a pure devotee and Gaur Parshad, you know, can you know, deliver the whole Jivatma in this whole universe. Brahmando, not world, be, be careful, not world. Brahmando Tarita Shakti Jhore Jhone Jhone. Each one of them having that kind of power to deliver countless devotees, those who are any form, in any form there in this universe. So why then, 
you are, we are going to express doubt that Popat cannot deliver them. Popat can. But Popat speaking, you are putting this kind of argument. You have no faith in Guru Vaishnava. Actually, Brahmanu Tarita Shakti Dhare Jane Jane. Ebedo Purane Guno Gai Javasuni. In all Purana, Shati, Purana, and Veda, Vedanta, and in Bhagavatam, Ramayana, everywhere. You can go, you can find this kind of, you know, solution. That a pure devotee who is a you know, pure bhakta can deliver countless devotees, countless people. But one condition is there, provided they have some faith in Him. If they have no faith in Him, if they think, let us stay in the situation in which, you are, in which we are put into, then what to do? If I am going to give treatment to outside people, he can kick me. Hey! You are actually mad, you are going to teach me, go, mind your own business. So this way, I can... I cannot approach countless, you know, people there in the world. I can approach in the form of prachar. Prachar, special preaching ground, I can go. I can speak Harikatha, Kirtan, maybe they can, I can change the mood of some uh, material people. They can become interested to take the center of Prabhupada. This way we can, but not that we can go and arrest all people and put into jail, like jail in Goryamath. No, not, this procedure is not good. At all, from heart, at all from heart, they should feel that we are in very miserable condition. Maya, 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 Maya. So we want to cut this Maya. We must approach one sadhu. So in all Sastra it is written, Maya re koriya jai, charano na jai, sadhu guru kipa bina na dekhi upai. So Maya, you cannot cut Maya without the help of sadhu sangha. Sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha, sarva saste koi. Lava Matu Sadhu Sange Sarva Siddhi Hoi Krishna Bhakti Re Janma Mool Hoi Sadhu Sange The very root cause of Krishna Bhakti is Sadhu Sange Also Tulsidas Jai speaking, Sankara Jai Jai speaking, so many countless documents we can show Tulsidas Jai speaking Binu Sat Sange Tarai Na Koi Binu Sat Sange Tarai Na Koi Binu Sat Sange Tarai na koi Ramu ki paabinu Sulabu na soi Ramu ki paabinu Sulabu na soi Without Sadhu Sangha we cannot cut material bondage and also indirectly we must give kipa from Prabhu Sadhu Sangha is not a matter of joke Countless people in the world they are going to die and take birth again. But, but how many people are going to get this kind of advantage of satsanga? That is the question. So, they are going to take birth and again going to die, again going to take birth. So, to stop the cycle of death and birth, we must get satsanga. Satsanga is a man. So, Papa is speaking to the man, why you are not going to believe 100%? Satsanga has some has some effect, big effect, miracle, you know, magic spell. So, but I cannot go outside and catch all people and bring them inside Gauriya Math uh, because they are, they are not going to show humble, they are not going to show any kind of positive mood. If I find any kind of positive mood, little bit, some sadha at least, then they can approach, I can allow them to stay in Gauriya Mission. This way, that man wanted to put some argument to with Srila Prabhupada and Prabhupada used to speak uh, how, uh, how it is possible for me to throw them out of Gauriya Mission, Gauriya Mat without any treatment. At least they are coming, at least they are coming in front of me, at least they are coming in front of me, at least they are going to say we are sick, we are Babarugi. Please give a statement. Maybe they have uh, done some mistake. So, uh, you know, those who are having some, uh, you know, fixed determination of Krishna Bhajan. Maybe some shortage is there. And, and repeatedly, one by one, they are going to make some. Opi Chet Sudra Acharo. 
भजते माम अन अन्य भाग साधुरे व समान्तव्य सम्मक व्यवस्थित ही सा हाँ ओपीचेत सुदराचार ओपीचेत इफ इज अ सुदराचार इज डूइंग ऑल रैबिस एक्टिविटी बट इन आर्ट इनसाइड हार्ट इन नो इट फॉर सेव द कृष्ण भजन इज द ओनली सल्यूशन इज नॉट गोइंग टू ओर्सिव एनी डेमिगॉड्स एंड नथिंग नॉट गोइंग टू टेक द हेल्प ऑफ योगा ज्ञान एंड नथिंग ही इज श्योर बट ही इज सो वीक इज गोइंग टू मिस गोइंग टू मेक मिस्टेक वन आफ्टर एन अदर बट भक्ति टू स्पीकिंग समबॉडी गोइंग टू टेक अंड एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस नो पॉइंट भक्ति टू स्पीकिंग यू कैन टेक अंड एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस सो ओपी चेत सुदराचारो भजते मामान्य भाग माम अन्य भाग साधु रे व समान्तव्य सम्यक व्यवस्थित ही सो सो भक्ति ठाकुर एंड पौबाद यूज टू स्पीक दिस वे दट वी कैन नॉट मिस यूज टेक अंड एडवांटेज एक्चुअली विश्वनाथ चकोत वी आर स्पीकिंग दिस गिविंग दिस आर्गमेन इन कमेंट्री दैट सपोज वन फैन इज मुविंग सपोज एट दैट टाइम देर वॉज नो फैन But what Bhakti, what Vishnu Chakravarti wanted to speak that there is some rotating object, uh, suppose rotating, uh, without frictionless, almost ball bearing, maybe some device can be there. And if we take the exam example of fan, it's more easy. It is also rotating on uh, this uh, 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 ball bearing. So current going to give power. So this current going to give some. power so they are going to get some mechanical energy to rotate so now electricity electrical energy in this fan this electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy so in turbine turbine also turbine you know in in big falls in 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 a in a in a river there is big falls from there if you put one turbine turbine rotating so through the rotating of this turbine continuously by the waterfalls there you can rotate the turbine you are going to create electricity armature is there inside as per faraday's law so this way that time mechanical energy mechanical energy is being converted into electrical now here in this case of fan electrical energy is being converted into mechanical energy okay no problem but actually we sona chukus was speaking if there is some 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 object rotating some device rotating continuously non stop in that case actually gradually if you electricity is not there to help if electricity is current is off then for some time you can find that it, that a fan is not going to stop at once the if the current connection is off then the fan going to rotate for some time doing the same so rotating for some time after some retardation and finally going to stop rotating so bisuna chokodi bad giving this kind of argument suppose a sub rotating object is there rotating if the cause if the cause for the for the if the cause is off the reason for why is rotating if the cause is off then automatically you can find after some rotation that uh, rotating object can comes to a stand still position so this way bishwana chuk was begin he is a samak samak byaboshito hi sa krishna speaking in gita samak byaboshito hi sa his mind his brain, his heart is now his brain is now well organized his brain is now well organized and so uh maybe uh, some problem is going to make mistake uh, cannot control but still inside heart he has taken resolution to do krishna bhajan not anything else so sammak vyavashito hi sho that is called his heart is now well organized because he is uh, well organized with if as is you know final decision to do hari bhajan in that case i was speaking this shloka अकाम सर्व काम वाह मोक्ष काम उदारदी तीव्रेन भक्ति योगेन जजित पुरुषम परम तीव्रेन भक्ति योगेन वट डू मीन बाय दिस वर्ड भक्ति योग इज नॉट सो इजी दैट यू कैन डू ट्रिमेंडस भक्ति योग दिस इज मीन दिस मीनिंग इज दैट विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ योग एंड ज्ञान यू आर कन्फर्म 
that bhakti can give me all final solution. This kind of form determination is called tibrena bhakti. Avras tibro bhakti, tibrena bhakti yoga na mean if you want to make a separate meaning, tibro bhakti yoga man, he should have, you know, tremendous bhakti yoga. Not that. Here in this, in this, you know, sloka, if you want to get the meaning, actual meaning, for why? Because when Vasudev Goswami is using for same, slo same, same, same term in different place, then meaning changing. In this case, Tivreno Bhakti Yogeno, Jajeto, Jajeto means it's a must. It's, it's a must, you will have to do. It's a must. So, you have to do Hari Bhajan, maybe uh, some different kind of desire, countless desires, or maybe is uh, devoid of any desires. Uh, so, Akama Sarva Kama Ba Moksha Kama Udarudi. But actually, if you are going to do Krishna Bhajan with desire, it is not actual Bhajan. With Anartha and Anabilas, if you are going to do Bhajan, it's not actual. I can discuss someday, you can realize. So, Sammak Babushito he saw his heart is not well organized because his decision is final that Krishna Bhajan uh, can give me final solution. That is knowing for sure. So now Vishwana Chakudu is speaking, uh, now he is going to make mistake again and again. But someday by the association of Guru Vaishnava, by the magic spell of Harikatha Kirtan as your Pahupa, it is the Siddhanta of Pahupa. That's why I am speaking. Someday he can stop doing all nonsense. The Prabhupada also writing one special article to describe Gauri Hospital. Speaking all about one by one. Prabhupada speaking uh, is Gauri Hospital. There is different, there is so many beds. You know, in hospital and nursing home, there is different beds. Prabhupada, one by one. Prabhupada speaking. Uh, now, we are going to visit Gauri Hospital. Prabhupada speaking, number one bed, this patient has some onnavilas, has some respect for Guru Vaishnava. Okay? He is doing Harina, he is interested to do Harinam and hearing Harikatha, Prabhupada writing. And number, uh, and that uh, patient there in number two bed, now what is the condition? He is arrogant actually. actually he is very arrogant, but he uh, is in a very arrogant, but still, actually, uh, some doing some seva with full attention. Number three, bed the person has this kind of you know, you know, attraction for woman. This that, this way, Papa is going to describe well, very nicely to portray one picture of of Gauriya Hospital. This way, Papa giving all example. This way, yes, this way, Papa giving one my example. So. Annavilas can be there, must, without, if Annavilas is not there, if I say, Maharaj, only pure devotees can come in front, then what for you are, we, you are there to speak Harikatha? And what is the use of your, you know, behavior, perfect behavior? What use? I cannot speak that way, that I can speak only in front of, you know, some elevated devotees. No, it's good, not wrong. And it's, it is bad to speak that way. So, I am not speaking that way. If they are already Siddha, then why I am inviting them in front of me? If they are already Siddha, then why they can take trouble to come in front of me? And that's why actually Annavilas can be there. But we, be sure, I can discuss this point tomorrow with Annavilas, Anartha, actual Krishna Vajan not possible. But if we have some determination that Krishna Vajan uh, strong resolution that only Krishna Bhajan can give me final solution, that's okay. Because he is now well organized. His brain, his heart is not well well organized. He can do accordingly and, and shortly he can find some solution. Because anyway, the main objective, main sadhan of Gauriya mission set by Sila Prabhupada according to the instruction of Rupa Goswami Path, Sanatana Goswami Path, Jiva Goswami Path, the main, main thing is Harikatha Kirtan. That's why you can remember some 15-20 days ago I was discussing let the whole world get burnt up. What it can send to you? You come and see Harikatha. Because you have you have no power. You have no power. You have no power to save anybody. 
Only you can do one thing to do Hari Bhajan. If you are going to do Hari Bhajan, then you can save countless people. If you are not going to do Hari Bhajan, only your material effort can come out successful to some extent. That's why so many people criticizing in front of Prabhupada. Your Gauri mission, what is the main activity of your Gauri mission? What they are doing? I can discuss in details about this point. Then they think that those material organs, the XY mission, they are going to distribute uh, dry food uh, in a flood, flood inundated place. You know, they are distributing uh, dry food from helicopter. They are dis distributing medicine from helicopter. Or some XY mission going to arrange some, you know, uh, some food for common people, food for all. This kind of things actually they can do, it's all material activities, but not permanent solution. So, Pope is speaking, Gauram, Gauriamat, unlike other missions, uh, going to mm, arrange some exclusive, you know, seva for whole, you know, world that is called permanent solution. If I can help, if I can help one bonded soul to get back Krishna consciousness, then I can automatically set him in Krishna Seva. That is called that is called actually Jivedaya. So I can discuss this point someday. Today uh, actually no time. So you see this way Prabhupada giving this kind of ex example actually. So different kind of devotees they are actually patient they are coming. So, not that we can throw them away or go to your hospital, they can stay, but provided they are going to obey the rules and regulations set in hospital. If any, in, 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 in any hospital, a patient is going to violate all rules and regulations there, then that can be a big problem. So, it's a big problem for them. So, we cannot maintain. So, this way, we cannot allow bonded people to do anything whatever they like we cannot allow bonded soul to do anything they like in Gauriya mission Gauriya mod they can come but they will have to obey some rules and regulation as per the instruction of Prabhupada they can hear Harikatha they, they can try to regulate themselves so this way they can go on and and someday they can discover that there are all problems gone. So they can become uh, pure devotees someday. So, uh, so you see this way actually, Bobad used to explain that we cannot throw bonded soul. Either rather we can arrange. So common people, material people, they think if somebody, some mission going to arrange, uh, you know, food to common people, then they are doing some seva. What Gauriyam are doing? There are some different kind of, you know, uh, question they are putting in front of. So this way, so this way actually Prabhupada used to give treatment to all devotees and sometimes some of them not going to obey at all. In that case, they will have to go away from Gauri mission, if they are going to make disturbance, uh, then we cannot allow. If they are at all interested to obey, then okay. So now Bhakti Vinod Thakur going to explain this uh, in a commentary. Bhakti Vinod speaking that some, uh, Bhakti Vinod speaking maybe some, some so-called devotee uh, doing a mistake again and again, again and again, repeatedly, is not going to stop doing all nonsense. Some mistake. Then Bhakti Mantra speaking, we should think over and again on this issue. At all if he is interested to stop doing nonsense, if he at all interested to cure his own disease, then his mood should be different. But if somebody going to make mistake again and again countless times, is not going to stop doing all nonsense, Bhakti Mantra speaking, in that case, we can we cannot apply this word 
ओपिचेत सुदुराचारो भजते ममन्न भाग साधुरेव समंतव्यो सम्यक व्यवसित ही स दिस फॉर्मूला वी कैन नॉट अप्लाई इन दिस केस बिकॉज इफ समबॉडी आउट ऑफ इज वीकनेस डूइंग रिपीटेड मिस्टेक दैट इज डिफरेंट थिंग इफ समबॉडी गोइंग टू मेक मिस्टेक बिकॉज ऑफ इज वीकनेस माई महाराज आई एम वीक I cannot uh, stop myself doing this. Oh, it's okay. But if somebody going to do may make mistake purposely, make purposely that I can make mistake. Okay, it is written in Gita, so I can get also indulgence. I can get like in Christian Gita. If you can do all rabbis whole week or whole month, you can go in front of Padri, and you will have to stand in the wooden, st- you know, uh, stand. and you will have to speak i have done confess that i have done this then that the father can give some indulgence this impractical procedure is not actually this way if we can do it allow it's not good is a impractical procedure it's not good actually so actually bhakti mr to the speaking if he repeatedly it is his mood is very bad he is going to do repeatedly and the same time he is going to so well it is written there in gita so i can do no that So, what you are talking about is for this week, for this week people, for this week you know, for this week people, those who are going to make some mistake, they know that is very bad. I should not do, I should not do, I should not do it that way. I should, but I cannot stop doing this way. Actually, uh, then in that case, this look is ab- applicable. Otherwise, if all people can go and do all rubbish. in the name of sanyas they have uh, everything they are going to uh, uh, you know start one family life secretly i mean giving him giving birth to one or two sons and daughters this is not actually this is not also you know we should be we should be very careful about uh, the heart of you know so called devotees what they mean to say so yesterday some question came i am going to discuss on this point i can discuss all in details uh, about this point uh, from switzerland some devotee asking how it is possible that there we find all uh, the parsas of goranga mahapur they are aprakita how we can understand so i am going to give fitting answer to their question at all if they have basic faith i think they can understand but not today another point some devotee putting question maharaj uh, one or two days for uh, one days before you are discussing about uh, daiva varna some this that but this point is not uh, totally clear to us uh, uru please touch this point again to give some clear idea so it will also take long time and also i am bound to confess that due to due to you know breakage of harikatha due to interruption i also feeling very bad because i am not have yet those who are those who know my heart those who are knowing my heart they know that i cannot tolerate any kind of interruption if i start with full meditation i can go on speaking harikatha i can stop after 2 hours or 2 and 1/2 hours or 3 hours maybe 1 hour something in between if i stop excuse me i beg for pardon in front of you all because this is not my lecture uh, so uh, due to interruption in between uh, in between i feel very you know sad i feel very so harikatha so i i want to speak so many thing but due to interruption i stop speaking uh this connection i feel <laughs> you know this way so anyway i am going to touch this point also is a siddhanta of sila popat and tomorrow and day after tomorrow also i can go on discussing so many vital points so you will have to be very attentive not that you cannot digest this katha you feel very hard so i should not hear it then it is one kind of medicine you know come on is one kind of medicine if you are not going to obey this kind of hard harikatha appropriate siddhanta then then never in future you cannot you can come out successful so anyway it is one kind of medicine so one doctor going to give you hard medicine bitter medicine uh, but you can ignore and fight with the doctor is not good 
So any medicine prescribed by any doctor, then you will have to take that medicine without any argument. It is my first request to you all. So you don't go for argument with you uh, know. So, so you see, so um, you know according to the instruction of Sila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Prabhupada wanted to implement some special issues like you know Daiva Varnasram, Daiva Varnasram implementation, you know, and after that, uh, after that. Uh, I told you actually uh, Vishnu Vishnu Brahmasava, Dham Pacharin Shava, or you know Dham Parikrama. Oh, you know. So because actually, hmm, Sila. Uh, though ultimately, this system actually Daiva Varnasam, you can feel disgusted because this stuff is very sensitive. This this you know subject is very complicated. This subject is very sensitive. You can feel disgusted, and also maybe you can become angry with me. Why Maharaj speaking this way? I am not speaking. At way it is. A, it is actually the Siddhanta Vichara Prabhupada, and all according to our scriptural analysis. Though we know actually what we can do. Why? What we can do with Daiva Varnasam? What is the use? Ultimate, ultimately, when. You are going to do bhajan and discover your own position as a paramahansa. In that case, you can you can understand what with the identity Mahaprabhu want to give. I already told that day. Na ham vipro na cha na rapati na api vishya na sudra na ham borni na na cha gya patri na mas banas to jyoti jyoti rva. Kintu padan nikhila parmananda purna mita dher gopi bhortur padakamalayur dasu dasa nu dasa. This I already told. So this is the final Siddhanta of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking. When you are going to cut your material bondage and go on doing bhajan, you become, you can go up and up and up. Finally, you can dis discover that this is your identity. Then in that case, what you can do with Daiva Varnasam? Let people play their head with Daiva Varnasam. What is the use? No man, come on. At present, it is very useful. At present, in bonded soul, bonded condition, if we are elevated sadhu, when you are paramansa, in that case, no you. Gyan anishto virakto ba mad bhakto ba ana bhiksha kaha shalinga na va samam stakta charit avidi gochara. They are beyond any rules and regulation. We cannot, we cannot make any rules and regulation for bhakti mino thaku. We cannot make any rules and regulation for pavpa. We cannot make any rules and regulations of our Sila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goshi Mara. You will have to obey this. This is a material idea. So I can discuss this point tomorrow if time permit. So we have material idea. With this material idea, if we want to get entry into transcendental world, quite absurd. We cannot do it. So you see, first of all, we must be very humble. Also, I give one example. Before starting Hari Bhajan. Before starting Hari Bhajan, why not you, why not you are putting to, going to put question with your Guru Dev? After starting Bhajan, now five years, ten years gone, now you are putting this kind of question. Why you are putting this kind of question? Then you, I can, I can think that your Bhajan not yet started. You have taken Bhajan, you have taken Hari Nam Diksha, everything, everything, from a you know big sadhu, you think so. Now after 10, 12, 10, 10, 10, 12 years after, you are putting this kind of question. This kind of question can prove that you have no faith in Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. This is very bad. It's not good. So at least minimum faith which I should have in our heart. So ultimately I know, ultimately we know that the Dvaiva Parnasam, what use? What we can do with this Dvaiva Parnasam? But not at present. We cannot throw the system of Daiva Varnasam at present. It is great danger for us. You see the situation at present. In the name of Daiva Varnasam, anybody can do anything what they like. They think it is Daiva Varnasam. I don't know what kind of you know, teachings they already rece have received from their previous Acharya. I don't know. They think it's all okay. We can do whatever we do. They are doing all rubbish in the name of Daiva Varnasam. They are making some hybrid and doing all rubbish. 
So Daivavarnasam, I was also discussing this point. <coughs> Daivavarnasam means <coughs> it's an automatic factor. We'll have to Daivavarnasam Dharma is effective in India for long time from Vedic Yuga. So to to regulate this samaj, this society, to organize it very, you know, perfectly, scientifically. So this Dvaipa Varnasam Dharma is very essential in bondage stage. Though ultimately this uh, Dvaipa Varnasam uh, Dharma uh, is not effective in our life. Yes, because when you are doing Hari Bhajan, ultimately we are going up and up, going to, you know, cut all bondage and what use. So, actually, uh, we already know the whole social system. There is one system. And according to Krishna already zone, Chaturvarna Maya system, Guna Karma Vibhagasa, according to Guna Evam Karma, Krishna uh, giving instruction that we should segregate this so much, then there can be no problem, the confusion, no problem can be there. So, Tasya Kartaram Api Maam Vidya Kartanam Abhyam. Though I was the main personality, I was the main, I was the original personality who started this. Tasya Kartaram Api. I am actually started this Dvaipavarnasam to systematize the whole, you know, you know, society. So, this way actually, now I can go back to the decision of Prabhupada by Siddhanta. So, actually Prabhupada used to say very often that this sloka Se se adhikare ja nishtha sa gunaha paripik parikirtitaha viparyas tu dosaha shad uvayo resha nirnayaha From Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th canto, 21 chapter, two, number 2 sloka. Prabhupada very often used to, uh, used to explain this sloka. Se se adhikare Yanistaha sa gunaha parikirtitaha viparya sudo sahasat uvayo resho nirnayaho viparya sudo. So, what, what, what Prabhupada wants to say to get, to get established, to get established in respective personal rights. According to Guna Karmana, gun evang quality and you know, our mood to do seva, to do, to sa, do some you know, you know, work. So, actually, to get established, to get established in respective personal suitable seva, suitable, you know, duty. And to do accordingly is gunaha. It is appreciable. But if somebody is going to break the system, suppose he is, you know, uh, you know, suppose he is Brahman, he is going to take up one weapon and going to kill the whole world. You know, like you know, we already Parshuram. Jamadagni Muni, actually Parshuram going to show Khatriya quality. Parshuram going to show Khatriya quality. There is some secret reason there. In Bhagavatam I already discussed. There is some, you know, this way actually, uh, so, if you are Bhaman and going to break this system and going to show this Khatiya quality is very dangerous. So you have no right to do that. So according to Guna Karma, those Manirishis, it was a system that time. At present, nobody is going to obey it. They say, I am Brahman, I am Chatterjee, I am Chakravati, I am you know, Mukherjee, Mukhabaddai. You know, we are Striva Sivasta. This way they are fighting. We are Sarma. But actually, this is not the system. If after birth, if you see that boy is uh, growing some special quality like a Khatriya, then how we can say that he is from? Then I can give example again uh, from Mahabharata and Upanishad everywhere. Jabal Sattakam, you know. Jabal Sattakam. Jabal Sattakam actually approaching Gautami Mani. Gautami Mani, in front of Gautami Mani, speaking, requesting, Rishivar, I have one request. I also, I also like to get knowledge from you, 
gyan, I like to gather gyan from you. Then Rishi asking, first of all I like to know in what, you know, category, Varna you are. You are Brahman or Khatri or what Varna you are? He said, I cannot speak. What is the name of your father? I cannot speak. Then you go and ask your mother first and come back to me again. Then I can consider the case. Then Java Sattakam going to mother and asking mother, who is my father? Mother crying and speaking, somehow I get you in my life, but I cannot specifically say that who is your father. I was doing service, uh, doing seva of some, you know, Rishimanis, and this way I get it, get you in my life. Then Sattakam going in front of Rishis, in front of Gautam Rishi, and in front of all, you know, Rishi Valak, all those boys from different, you know, villages, they are coming to learn, stay in Guru Griha, in Gurukul, with Gautam Muni, Gautam Muni giving lesson to them. Then in front of this, you know, this, you know, in front of all those, you know, boys, and in front of Gurudev itself, Gurudev asking, you already, already, I don't know. You already asked your mother? Yes. Then who is your father? Then that boy speaking what all he heard is not going to make some manipulation. He is speaking, Rishibor, I was bound to put this question in front of mother. Mother, and I got answer from mother that uh, I cannot specifically, mother couldn't speak clearly with his father. Because somehow, she got me in his life. So this way, all boys, they started laughing. But Rishi, Gautam Rishi said, don't laugh, stop. Now after that, Gautam Rishi is speaking, boy, my boy, you can't come in front of me. Then that boy going in front of Rishi, and the Rishi is, you know, blessing him and speaking, I am sure, I am sure, I am sure that you are Brahman. I am sure you are Brahman. I am 100% I am going to give you know, knowledge, I mean, a lesson to you also about Veda. I am sure that you are Brahman. Because as per Siddhanta, Brahmane Arjava Sakshat Sudre Anarjava Lakshanam. Brahmane, what is the main quality of Brahman? He is going to speak all right. Not that I am from a big family, I was very rich, I am from a very educated family, whereas you search, he was very poor, he is very poor, even his father couldn't arrange one bread in a day, but now he is speaking, I was very rich. Why he was this, why, what's the nature, I don't know. So speak what fact you will have to speak, na? So this way actually, manipulation is not good, antara vahira samabhavahar, then Rishiman is speaking, Rishi, that uh, Gautama is speaking, my, my boy, I am sure that you are actually Brahman. Because the vital quality, main quality, main quality of a Brahman is to speak the truth. He must have faith in truthfulness. Because Supreme Lord Himself, Satya Satyam Nihita 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 Satya Eh, this look is there when those demigods praying the Garva of you know Devoki in Mathura jail. Satyancha Satya Nitancha Satya Satya Bratam. This look has so you have come, you have ma come on, you have come to do bhajan of Satya Brata. You forget this point. You have come to do bhajan of Satyabrata. Whereas you are always and every time you are ready to take the help of falsity. Why? The first quality is not there with you. Whereas you are speaking, you are initiated 25 years back. How we can say this way? You are going to take the help of falsity all the time. You are speaking lie. All the time duplicity, duplicity is there inside your heart. How you can act as a chari, how you can uh, act as a, you know, uh, Bhagavad speaker. This is not good. Why not speak? What is the fact? 
So this is the vital point. You should not forget this point. Come on, you are coming to do bhajan of Satya Brata. The basic fundamental thing, the basic and fundamental thing you are going to ignore. You forget that the, you are coming to do bhajan of Krishna, Satya Brata. Uh, you are going to take the help of falsity. It's not good. That's why Prabhupada wanted to make us at least Brahman. I can go and discuss all in details. Maybe it will take one or two days. Uh, if I leave it half discussed, then somebody can express some doubt about me. And also I am feeling dissatisfaction due to interruption. I disconnected uh, out of me meditation. I will have to speak now. Nah. I am taking all whole kippah from you all and speaking out of meditation and speaking this way. If some interruption, I feel disconnected very bad. So, so actually point is that, point is that actually, you know, so, Sattva Brata, we are going to do bhajan. So, Gautami Muni took decision, perfect decision. Well, I am sure that you are Brahman. Because otherwise one Shudra, one Shudra cannot speak so, you know, face to face. Ashudra cannot speak this, you know, sensitive thing in front of all public, openly. That's why you know you are Brahman. Sure, that is the symptom. Symptom. So that's why he told you, Jasu yat lakshanam praktam pungso ven varnabhi venjakaha tadannat tradisheta tatte naiva venirdiset. I told that day. So you will have to, now, now actually Gautama Muni, Gautama Rishi took decision this way. What is the symptom? The first symptom is that a Brahman is truthfulness. Okay, first symptom. Then humbleness. He is speaking very humbly. He is not going to change, uh, do any manipulation. Straightforward. Humble attitude. In front of Guru. Gautama Rishi, I like to learn. This all can prove that he is really Brahman. So, you see. This is the characteristics. Also, I can, do, I can uh, do some detailed discussion on this point. Uh, it will take maybe one or two days. I can go back to the discussion by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Bhaktivinoda Thakur is speaking, those foreign people, they are very clever. Foreign people, they are not devotee. But at least they are so clever, so clever, so sincere. They always, from the very beginning, they are watching which which baby, many, which boy or girl going to show what intention is there? From very childhood, Bhakti Murtaka speaking, those foreign devotees, foreign people, they are very clever. Always from the very boyhood, they are watching. What is the intention of that boy? What is the characteristics of that boy? They like to learn. Uh, they like to do some inv investigation on this point. If they find that the boy is very interested to play football, then they are, they, they, are, they are going to help him that way. He become a big footballer. If they are, is they are going to find he is interested to do some research, a very inquisitive attitude. Uh, so maybe in future they can discover, oh, he has become, become a scientist. This way, in this uh, foreign country, they are at least going to follow this procedure. And also, I heard from my friends staying in America, not, at present they are not my friends, but previously, that there the system is that any competitive examination, if some postgraduate, suppose somebody going, uh, some, uh, some candidate is postgraduate, and they are also going to open this post for graduation. And, uh, but in India, not that. For post-graduation, at least you should have this kind of quality. But in foreign country, they are giving some tolerance. So, post-graduation is uh, first preference. And also, those who are graduate, they can also apply for this post. After that, they are so clever, they are going to test both the candidate who is coming from this uh, post-graduation you know, degree with and with uh, graduation degree. They are so clever. They are less interested about what quality they have, what, 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 you know, degree, material degree. If they find that the graduation, this boy is more efficient, more, more efficient than more knowledgeable, 
then they can give first preference to this you know this this candidate but this is not the system here if somebody can find somebody is very interested to some boy very interested to play cricket then india they are not going to help you will have to give 25 lakh is lakh rupees uh, you know bribe then they can the selector can keep your name they are idiot number 1 this way so many genius people we can get in different fields we are going to lose i can give the example of hara gobind khurana to clarify this point hara gobind khurana is actually a punjabi scientist very big scientist he was doing research on you know genetics you know character then after that he requested that that time indian government request uh, i am almost successful i need your help to come out successfully with my thesis so please help me the government indian government speaking no we cannot help you uh, we have uh, no money then he applied to the american government then after that american government speaking right now you come i am speaking i am I, I, we are ready to help you eh genetical character you know then then harud harug bin corona going there and join their you know reserve research work there he come out successful he was successful he was successful within 2 years 2 3 years and he was uh, given nobel prize so now america can speak that we our scientists are <laughs> getting nobel prize honor who one american scientist he is actually originally from india so this way actually all and everywhere in this you know third world country there is one kind of manipulation going on all the time so bhakti unta was speaking at least they are so clever they are watching what is the what is the you know nature of that boy according to that nature they are going to help from the very beginning so they can get the potency expressed in his life or in how life so this way they are going to help you know this way i can give another example kalpana chawla he is ordinary you know graduate after that he went to england to study after that from america he got the chance to join you know astronaut he became astronaut and he going to space this way uh we can get so many genius people in the society but we are so jealous we are so jealous we are not going to help them we are going to stop their promotion even in devotional world we will find some special quality with one devotee he is singing so nice so nice kirtan but we are going to stop his singing you know you can remember one foreign devotee of sila sidar gosi maharaj ha uh, he is very nice singer i heard so nice he is doing he is laughing you know you know dancing with kirtan but he is no more with us how that i cannot speak you know this way we are going to lose you know a somebody can speak hari katha can do bhajan nicely we want to stop his bhajan stop his hari katha this much we can do we are so jealous you know we can do this much thing ha eh? bhalo jodi na korbe mondo korbe keno this kind of prabhu speaking <laughs> you know uh, prabhu speaking in one so this way you see this kind of problem is there that's why we cannot go advance in a global level that is the main problem in bhajan also different kind of problems coming some particular some this that you know this is not at all not good actually another example i can see that actually in india in india it is a system government you know i know not present government maybe it is already you know uh, they uh, you know passed you know certified by previous government they in their senate they approve one rules and regulation the amendment that uh, that those who are scheduled tribe and scheduled caste those who are scheduled tribe and scheduled caste low caste they should be given priority in the society so that they can get inspiration they can get lesson they can go they can become educated this way government going to give some special and you know, a facility to them 
so that they can get service very quickly they can get admission in any university and colleges so they are going to reserve some special re seats they are going to reserve some special seats for scheduled castes and scheduled tribes and you can you can go mad so foolish that government is so foolish they are going to going to allow them some extra facility well i have no jealousy about that what i mean to say try to understand then you can go back to the original root cause of doiva varnasam you can realize if you can understand all these key points so actually my point is that if government going to give some extra facility to them i have no objection very good but why government going to make some compromise in quality try to get my point if same quality if same quality government going to get from one high caste from brahmin family or khatri family high caste very one candidate government going to choose maybe same quality is there with this scheduled caste then he can give first preference to the scheduled caste not that with quality we cannot make compromise try to follow my point is very scientific what pope bhakti mohan tagore also wanted to mean this so government is so foolish they are going to compromise with quality if they are scheduled caste what to do we can give service to them okay but now what happens that scheduled caste that officer going to pay 25 rupees or 30 rupees 50 rupees to his you know to his servant to write on english letter so i know you are going to think mara is speaking this way yes why well, i am bound to speak this way i am bound to speak this way what to do they are actually that his officer is going to take the chair of an important personality but he cannot even write an english letter he cannot read even one letter coming to so this is the this is actually uh, government doing so regarding quality we should not go for compromise we should give first preference to this schedule ka schedule drive i have no objection but regarding quality if we are going to make compromise then whole the whole system can break down at present the system is you see this is system so they don't know they are out of order their brain is out of order they cannot understand what they mean to say so this way we are going to lose in all sphere of life like in educational fields in uh, in, in 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 spiritual fields also in you know you know sports and games fields you know everywhere where not where not even those you know you know you know film industry there also if you give bribe 50 lakhs then they can select you then gradually you can get the scope to become a big hero this is all the time manipulation going on so bhakti mohan tagore what meant to say i can give another example from india there was one very 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 poor player very poor very poor he was a he was a gardener actually actually he was a gardener in 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 field playing field uh, he was engaged as a gardener to clean the field to make the pre creech crease proper to cut grass on proper level so that there cannot be any disturbance watering the grass you know all the fields his name was solkar his name was solkar but i know i don't know how and why he was given such a, such a unique chance to become a big cricketer cricket player in our childhood we heard boyhood we heard his name his name was Sol solkar he was a big you know cricket player you know this way as a rare so at present they are playing some game so some genius we are going to lose all genius you know people so anyway so devotion and uh, you know geniusity is not same i can discuss this so this way actually we are going to make problem in every sphere of life so irrespective of caste and creeds you know we can allow people to come in bhajan field this is good but that doesn't mean i already give you an example i was speaking that day uh, i was feeling disturbance that day so i was speaking about one incident 
the one you know minister from low caste one minister in delhi he took decision to start start one agitation with all low caste people so those are bangi bangi men those are cleaning roads and you know drains everything they gather a big association they make one big association they are fighting they are coming in vrindavan and fighting with you know brahman vishnu they are speaking well enough for long time we are doing this as this kind of seva cleaning roads and everything now you will have to change your portfolio we brahman and vaishnav they they can go outside of temple we can enter into temple we can do a, you know puja everything and they can go and clean <laughs> they are, they wanted to motivate and all those police people they are not educated they are coming and shouting dite have karte have slogan going on slogan ultimately solution was not there so there was you know after that some knowledgeable personality came and with full group or guru vaishnav they are coming they are putting some question he couldn't give answer is not good first point is that i cannot snatch i cannot snatch your duty i cannot snatch your duty your duty i cannot snatch i already told in foreign country if some boy is expressing some extraordinary no is any talent about you know medical science they are giving this science but here not so you see that time there was big problem it is not possible so sese adhikare jo nishtha sa gunah parikirtita so according to respective quality and degree and, uh, and duty according to their guna karma they will they will have to do their own duty if they are going to break their own duty okay i cannot do this duty i can go and take the post of this that's why this foolish government they came making all problem full problem now foolish government going to make such you know they are so foolish they don't don't understand we are not going to express this kind of particular but i am speaking very neutral way you know at present you know those who are nursery boys and those you know primary boys now some minister foolish minister they are going to arrange mid day milk mid day milk are why not you pay money to them their father and mother can arrange milk in this way they are marrying mid day milk so mid day milk milk one brahmin boy from highest quality they they like to maintain i know so many boys i know one doctor coming to me his boy he also in a school they are also serving some mid day milk but that boy not taking because his sanskar is totally different why you can break this system social system i know you are shudra i know you are shudra but you have no right to break the system that boy he is growing up with some nice you know you know etiquette you know some news nice sanskar you are going to make mid day milk you will have to sit with all people all boys from different caste and you know even with muslim boys the muslim boys if they are coming to do hari bhajan we have no objection they can do hari bhajan but this way they are going to break they are going to break the whole social system i can give one by one example wow dangerous the system is so at present you cannot find that's why at present in our life also when i was you know boy that time also we have our experience some new new you know experience we i have At that time i received got new new experiences through which i could realize that this is very important so now at present you cannot find you cannot find nice nice people nice nice you know baby not take taking birth because like father like son like mother like son they are also loose character lose everything no sense can nothing you cannot expect this you know this society you cannot what we can expect i can give all example from gita so you cannot break this sindhan one by one i can go on this example one by one of what krishna want to say what chaitanya mahaprabhu want to say i can give example ah uh, so you can think that maharaj is with some particular some this no not at all 
This system should be there to maintain. We should have respect to Varna Sam Dharma. So says Adhikare Yanistha Sagunaha Parikritta Viparja Sudosaha Shad Uhayo Resho Nirnayaha to detect what is good, what is bad, what is what is actually appreciable, what is not appreciable, we will have to judge this way. So if somebody is going to break, if somebody is going to take the away the duty of others, like I already told, those who are doing some scavenging job, scavenging job, cleaning roads and everything, they are going to take control over temple. They are saying enough of it. We have done so many long time, we are doing this. Now you go outside and, you know, do sweeping job, we get. It's not possible. Their sanskar is to do worship. I already told that you are going to put force. We have to break the system. How is possible? Already I told Mahaprabhu never wanted to disturb the system. I also, that day I was discussing, Mahaprabhu never in his life wanted to disturb the system. Also, I can give one example, and with this example, I will to stop today. I can discuss this point in details, what, what, what Prabhupada wanted to mean. So actually, you can remember, when actually, when uh, our Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to uh, Elihavad, first of all, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Varanasi, that time in Varanasi, Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu took shelter at the house of Tapan and uh, house of Chandrasekhar. Chandrasekhar. Chandrasekhar is actually his bhitti. What is his duty? He is writing uh, deeds or anything. I mean, knock-on. He is, you know, writing. His handwriting is very good. His, his seva is to write anything freshly. You know, record, maintain record. So he is a, he is a shudra. Externally, but Vaishnava, I should not speak this way. And Tapan Misra was Brahmin, you know the, you know, you know the father uh, 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 of, you know, uh, that uh, 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 Raghunath Bhatta, Raghunath, uh, Raghunath Bhatta, you know. Uh, so this way, actually, uh, Mahaprabhu taking shelter at Chandrasekhar, Acharya Bhavan, and taking prasadam there in the house of Tapan Mishra. Mahaprabhu not going to break them, not that Mahaprabhu going to hate him. But Mahaprabhu wanted to main, enter to no, Mahaprabhu never wanted to break this system. Mahaprabhu no. There should not be any segregation of Brahman, Shudra, this, that. But the social, the, the social people, they are so foolish. Uh, with the help of this, you know, one example, they can start breaking all rules and regulations. They can start breaking. They can start breaking all system. So Mahaprabhu never wanted to break this system externally. Internally, Mahaprabhu having great respect for Haridas. Mahaprabhu love Haridas doing nam, nam, Namacharya. Mahaprabhu always love Sanatan Rup, but still they are not going to stay in Gambira, not entering Gambira, not going to take entry into Jagannath temple, out of their humble attitude, they are going to prove their excellency of humbleness. So they are not actually fallen so. High class family, Bharadraj family, you see, but still, their humble attitude, their Saranagati, their humble attitude, their softness can prove their topmost Brahman. But they are out of their humble attitude going to express we have no right to enter into Jagannath, Jagannath temple. We are all fallen souls. This way, if you are at all interested to do Krishna Bhajan, then you must follow the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You must follow the mood of all Goswamis. We must follow the mood of Prabhupada and Bhakti Vinod Chakur. Otherwise, you can get derailed. You cannot do Bhajan perfectly. So day by day I can give answer to all different doubts and suspicion. I can go on giving answer. So Sheshe Adhikari Janistha Shagunaha Parikitataha Viparyas Tu Doshaha Shad Uvayo Resha Nirnaya. I can give first I can give clarify this point. What Krishna speaking and in the Bhagavat, what is what we documents we are getting in Bhagavatam? 
Also, I can give an answer to the devotee who is putting question about the authenticity of Nitya Parshat, of Gaur, Gaur Parshat. They are expressing doubt. How we can say Nitya Parshat? This kind of doubts they are expressing. I can give example. How we can say that Krishna is Nitya, Chaitanya Mahapu Nitya? How we can understand? We can give example one by one. Then we can try to understand. So today I am going to stop my discussion. Uh, you know today. So actually we will have to uh, also understand the meaning of this sloka. Nikhilo bhavano maya chinna vichinna korti vibhuda bahulo megam mukti mahanto datri shithilito vidiraga radho rajeshadhani. Bilasato Hidanicham Bhakti Shiddhanta Bhani. What is the meaning of this sloka written by Sila Bhakti Rakhak Siddhar Goswami Maharaj? You can remember I was discussing someday, maybe one hour be, one year before. Tabat Brahma Katha Mukti Padabim Tabat Natikti Bhavit Tabat Chapi Vishin Kalatta Mahati in a look of Veda Siddhi Tabat Mitaha Kalakala Nana Bohirbat Masu. Sri Chaitanya no Priyajana Javad no Dikkacharah. So I can discuss this point. So Vainchakalpaturusho kipasindhubhyavachyopatitanan papanipho vishnavibhyo namunam.